Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So um, as you can probably tell by my voice today, I am sick. I have been sick for what feels like forever, probably a week and a half now. So today I thought I'd just kind of do a low key video. I went and saw Dear Evan Hansen last night and I didn't sleep much and I've been watching Dear Evan Hansen videos all day because I'm on a high from seeing the, I almost said movie, that's how tired I am from seeing the show, so I figured we kinda just do a chill, low-key video today and have a little fun. So today I'm gonna be doing the Netflix and Books Challenge, which I saw on a Clockwork Readers channel. I'll link her video down below. And then I think she had the original creator in her video. I think it was Books and Lala. Don't quote me on that, but I'll also link their video down below. Um, so basically, it just takes different Netflix categories and um, applies them to books. So you'll see what I mean as we um, go through the challenge, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first question is, recently watched the last book you finished reading. For me, that is Kissing Max Holden by Katie Upperman. Um, I just finished this book a couple of days ago. Um, I gave it a three out of five. I thought the concept was really good. I thought it had the potential to be really cute. I just didn't love the execution, but I still thought it was a cute contemporary and um, I love Katie Upperman. She's the sweetest human on the planet. So yeah. So I would definitely recommend this for a cute little beach read or summer read. Um, just whenever you feel like you have some free time. So the next question is top picks, a book that has been recommended to you based on other books that you've read. I have two here um, because I'm a rebel and a rule breaker. The first one I have is Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppermill. This was recommended to me because I love Amanda Loveless and I was told I really love Pillow Thoughts. I haven't gotten the chance to read it yet, but I am very excited and I really hope that I'll love it. It's a poetry collection, which I've been really into lately. The second book I have is Winter Girls. That's by Lori Halls Anderson. This is the UK cover because I think it's absolutely adorable. I found it on Book Depository. This is a book that deals with a group of girls that suffer from eating disorders and the challenges they face. And um, I really like reading books about mental health. Um, I write a lot about eating disorders. So I was recommended this book by a few people to read next. The next category is recently added, the last book that you bought. For me, that is How to Make Friends with the Dark by Kathleen Glasgow. Um, she wrote one of my favorite books of all time, which is Girl in Pieces. And her new book literally just came to my house a couple days ago because I pre-ordered it. And I am super, super excited to read it because I love her writing style. I loved Girl in Pieces and I can't wait to devour this one. So the next category is popular on Netflix a book that everyone knows about. Um, you're supposed to choose two that you've read and two that you haven't read. So for me, in this category, the first book I have is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Um, I read this book before the movie came out so that I could go watch the movie because if you watched any video on my channel, you know how stickler I am about reading the book before I see the movie and I'm usually pretty good at it. So I bought this book so that I could go see the movie and I feel like everybody knows this book at this point. Um, if you don't, you know the movie Love, Simon. This is the book it was based on, and I loved it to pieces. It was a five out of five star read for me, and I would highly recommend to anybody to read. The other book that I've read that fits this category is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This also was turned into a movie. However, when I read the book, um, I didn't, well, I knew it was being turned into a movie, but I didn't know much about the movie. I actually read this book with the Wattpad Stars Book Club. This was our very first book that we chose and I loved it. I gave it a four out of five. Um, and I would, I think this should be a mandatory read for everyone. It's really eye-opening. It shows you a new perspective on life and I would highly recommend. The two books that I have that are popular that I haven't read, the first one is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Everybody I know has read this book. Everybody I know has loved this book. I bought the book on sale. I bought the duology on sale at Target. I just have not gotten around to reading it yet. I love sprayed edges, guys. Like, oh, gorgeous. So I'm really, I know this is coming out as a TV show now, I believe, but I really, want to get to this book and I'm hoping to get to it soon. It's just fantasy really intimidates me. So I really have to be in the right mindset in order to dive into a fantasy, especially when it's this long. 
And the other book I have that I feel like everybody talks about, literally everybody, and I haven't read it yet or seen the movie, that is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I've heard about this book for years and years. I just never picked it up. And then when the movie was coming out, I picked up the book because, do I need to repeat myself? But I still haven't read the book, so I still haven't seen the movie because I'm a stickler. So I'm really hoping I get to this book soon because I really want to see the movie and now there's a sequel coming out, but I just have not picked up this book yet. And I hear so many good things about it, but I don't know what's stopping me from picking it up. But I really hope I get to it in the next couple of months so I can see the movie. I feel like it's a perfect summer read. The next category is comedies. Pick a funny book. I don't read very many funny books. I'm very much for the hard hitting, sentimental, hit you deep in the feels books. So for this one I chose Love Scene Take Two by Alex Evansley. I thought it was such a cute read and her writing style is so amazing. This was a five out of five read for me and I feel like I laughed the whole time. Like obviously there were parts that I cried because I'm a baby, but honestly this book was so hilarious. I love Alex and I would recommend this book to anybody that loves YA and romance and just a bunch of feel goods and laughs like this is the book for you. The next category is dramas. Pick a drama king or queen. For me I picked My Life with the Walter Boys by Ali Novak and Jackie and Cole are both drama queens and kings to me. Well Jackie is a drama queen, Cole is a drama king which is why they belong together <laughs> but I really did love this book. Um, they're just very dramatic all the time, and so I thought this fit the category perfectly. Also, it's coming out as a show. Um, Allie teamed up with Comics, who filmed The Kissing Booth, and they have recently teamed up with Sony, so before you see the show, you better read the book, because it is so good. I just went really Miranda Sings there. So good. I think there's something wrong with my brain. I'm lack of sleep and sick, but seriously, read the book. The next category is animated, a book with a cartoon on the cover. The first one that came to mind for me is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I always say her last name wrong and Alex would kill me. Alex Evansley, author of Love Scene Take Two. This is her favorite author of all time and don't tell her but I've never read a Rainbow Rowell book. But I have Fangirl, I've had it since like 2015 or 2016, uh, I don't remember years very well. But I will read it, I swear. It has a cute little animated cover. A girl chilling on the computer, writing, I think she writes fanfic. And this guy chilling over here. And I think the art style is really cute. And this is the first book that came to mind. The next category is Watch It Again, a book or series you want to reread. For me, that is The Princess Saves Herself in this one, The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one, and The Mermaid Returns in this one. This is. Um, a series by Amanda Loveless of poetry collections. This is the newest one, which I still haven't read and it's very embarrassing. I actually did try to read it the other night, but long story short, the only place I could read was the living room and my dad was watching Family Guy and I can't immerse myself in The Mermaid Saves Herself, I'm sorry, The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one. When my dad is watching Family Guy, like I need silence and to concentrate. So um, I'll definitely be getting to this book soon, but I also do want to reread the whole series because I love Amanda Loveless, and now that I have all three books, I think this one is going to be the last book. Don't quote me on that, but I definitely want to reread them all together. The next category is documentaries, a nonfiction book you'd recommend to everyone. For me, that has definitely got to be, it's a collection called a Dear America book, My Name is America, and they basically take like journals from people throughout history and publish them. So this one is The Journal of Patrick Seamus Flaherty, and this is his sister, The Diary of Molly Mackenzie Flaherty. So Patrick is off fighting in the Vietnam War, and Molly is an activist back in the States during the Vietnam War, and it is so, so intriguing like that's the only word I can come up with at the moment first off just to see what's going on during the Vietnam War from someone down in the trenches and then to see what's going on back in the States from someone who's an activist it is just mind-blowing to me and um, I would definitely recommend this not only these two books but just this entire the Dear America 
series, I guess, to anyone that's intrigued at all by history. Even not by history, because I'm not like a history geek, but I just love these books. Um, I started reading them in middle school. I pick up these books on a regular basis just to reread again because I love them so much. So I would definitely highly recommend these. The next category is action and adventure, an action-packed book. And for that, I have Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Aniyami. If you've been around on my channel, you've heard me talk this book to death, but this is definitely packed with action and adventure. Like the whole book is following Zeely. I never say the characters' names right and I apologize, but it's following Zeely on the quest to restore magic and to her, I guess not really a kingdom, but to the country? I don't know. I'm not good with fantasy terms, but I know that I loved this book, even though it's massive. Um, this was the first fantasy book that I really got into and that made me buy more fantasy, but I would highly, highly recommend if you, even if you're not that into action and adventure, I think this book will surprise you, but this is definitely action packed. And the last category is new releases, a book that has recently come out or will be coming out soon that you can't wait to read. For me, that is definitely to drink coffee with a ghost or to have coffee with a ghost. One of those two by Amanda Loveless. It's her next poetry collection. It comes out later this year and I'm super excited to get my hands on it and to devour that one as well because I love everything Amanda Loveless puts out. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it was a little bit different. I know I've done two tags in a row, but I'm sick, so give me some leeway. Feel bad for me? Give me a pity thumbs up. Comment down below if you've read any, any of the books I talked about or if any of them intrigued you. I'd love to discuss books in the comments with you. Subscribe for more bookish content because I guess that's what I'm branded as now, a booktuber, because it's my favorite thing to talk about on the entire planet. And I will see you guys maybe next Monday. We're on a roll now, so, but I'm afraid to jinx it, you know, but maybe I'll see you next Monday with a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I labeled each one so I would know what I was picking when I was picking them off my bookshelf. Oh, why didn't I put these in order? For me, that is How to Make Friends with the Dark by Cla Claflin Glasgow, yes. <laughs>